we're in that time of the fulfillment of all prophecies. You individuals out there that are playing games like this is a big game, you're going to die. You're working for the king of the universe. You don't slack when you're working for the king of the universe, you dumb fucks. Anyway. Look, we're in that time of the fulfillment of all prophecies. You individuals out there that are playing games like this is a big game, you're going to die. You're working for the king of the universe. You don't slack when you're working for the king of the universe, you dumb fucks. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere occupants. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for, bear pretty much a response, response video. To the video, Elder Manata Zakbar did from South Carolina, working for the king of the universe. And the voice that you were hearing just then was the head apostle, Apostle Tahar. Look, man, you know what the scriptures say in the book of Revelation? The Lord wants us either hot or cold. You know? Now, look, not lukewarm. Look, we, we, I, look, the Lord had me tell brothers through the spirit, you know what I'm saying? Every time I talk to him, yo, we, we work for the Lord, man. All right? We, we work for the king of everything, man. The king of kings, the lord of lords, man. We work for the entity that created everything, man. All right? So you know they want us to put forth all our effort. But I'm going to just hop right into the, I'm going to let the scripture speak. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. In that, knowing the time, we, we, we know what time it is, right? The majority of the people on the face of the earth, they don't know what time it is. Look, we do. We do. Full steam ahead, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This place is fastly, you know what I'm saying, going down, man. We, we're at the end of this place. This place is, is shit about to be at its demise, man. The God of the Bible is showing himself to be faithful and true with his words. He said he's going to destroy this place, man. And remember, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Lord Yahweh Shai in particular, in the book of um St. John, the fifteenth chapter. Look, I have chosen you. You have you have not chosen me. Therefore, go and bring forth fruit, man. You see, once again, Romans chapter thirteen, verse eleven. See, we supposed to when we hear something like that, uh, um, an exhortation like that, we supposed to be trembling, man. We supposed to be look, look, look. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. All right. You you gotta work for that crown. You gonna just receive a crown for not doing nothing. And you ain't going to receive a crown of what the next man is doing for all the slackers out there, man. Now, we have our up days, our down days. But look, the Lord said, look, the hell with all that. You know what I'm saying? Get to work. That's what the Lord said. Romans 13 and 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. Why, Lord? Why, Lord? For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. This is the last time we're going to be able to do videos, man. The internet is about to get shut down. These are the last days, man, the last seconds to where, where the Lord is going to allow us to do videos. We bring out we bring out Amos all the time. What is it, Amos 8 and 11? A famine of the word, a Yahweh Bashim Yahweh. Look, it's really coming to that point in them. There's certain scriptures that we can't even bring out. And look, because if we do, our video is going to get flagged. Let you, let, let you know right there how close we are to the end of this place, man. The Lord says, high time to wake out of sleep. Come back to your nationality, you know what I'm saying? And, and the men out there that the Lord has the spirit on to receive this word, to get built up on a level, to understand the doctrine, go teach. You see? This is for now, it's our salvation nearer than when we believe. And look, the, the whole for elect, man, we got confidence, we got faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The salvation is near. For what we're seeing, the things that we're seeing happen on the face of the earth, salvation is that much closer, man. Let's get this to a quick little lesson, man. I, that, that video got me more hype than I was already hyped, man. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6. Go to the ant, thou slugger. You look up that word slugger, it means lazy. 
You got men that really ain't doing nothing, man. Do your part. Everybody got to do their part. You know what I'm saying? Look, I wish I could do a video every hour on the hour. But no, but you know, it's balanced with everything. We got to work. We got to sleep. We got to eat. You see? But it's time to put in the work for your hour by Shimmy Hour Shop. You got five, ten minutes, I'm saying twenty minutes to do a video. Get it in. The Lord ain't give us this word to just be sitting on it. Remember the man that had the talents? The one that had ten went out and did something. The one that had five went out and did something. But the one that had one, you know what I'm saying? He had, he had small understanding. He sat on it, man, and didn't do nothing with it. We shouldn't be nothing like that, man. We shouldn't be nothing like that guy. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6. Go to the ant, thou slugger. Now I got ants outside the crib. I, I should have took a video of them. What, every time I go outside, them ants are moving and grooving, man. They're handling the business. Uh, one ant ain't got to tell the other ant, let's get to work. No. They all moving, man. They all got a purpose, man. They all fight for one goal. You see? To build. To build. Consider her ways and be wise. You see the ant working? Let's work. You see? Let's work. Look, it's helping us out in the long run. Putting in work for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is helping us out in the long run. And we're feeding the sheep. Look, the Lord asked the Apostle Peter, you know what I'm saying? The head Apostle Peter, do you love me? He says, Lord, you know I do. What he said, feed my sheep. Feed my lamb. You see? Which have no guide, overseer, or ruler. Provided her meat. Now, the ant ain't got nobody watching over them. You know what I'm saying? Every day, do this, do this, do this. No, they still get to work, man. Provided her meat in the summer and gather her food in the harvest, man. How long will thou sleep, O slugger? The scripture says it's high time to wake out sleep. Babylon is about to be destroyed, man. O slugger. When will thou arise out of thy sleep? That stupor, man. Wake the hell up. That's what the Lord is telling all of us to do. Wake up, man. We work for the God of the universe, man. The, the, the powers that created everything, man. That's who we work for, man. Look, he didn't choose everybody. The scripture says, bless, um, blesses that man whom, whom the Lord chooses, man, to enter into his courts. And let's just bring out some more precepts, man. You know, look, and, and the Lord wants us to do this thing willingly, man. Let's get that right quick. Like I said, just flowing in the spirit. I'm going to play that little clip again. You know, that, that clip got me hyped, man. You know? You constantly want to be busy. You don't want to get in that stupor type of uh, mind state, man. Then that's thing you know, you go a day without doing something. That's thing you know, the day turned into a week. A week turned into a month. Then a month turned into, you don't want to go there. You don't even want to go there. First Corinthians chapter 9. Bear with me. I ain't even get a chance to watch the whole video. You see. First Corinthians chapter 9. It's like I'm in the wrong, I'm in the wrong chapter. 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Look, look, I'm going to start at 16. For though I preach the gospel, meaning the good news, this word, right? I have nothing to glory of, right? For necessity, it's our duty, remember? It's our duty. It's the least that we can do. It's putting these videos, right? It's the least that we can do. We haven't been given our nationality back. We haven't been given the, 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 high, the high holy proper names in the Hebrew tongue of our power. Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. This is the least that we can do, brothers. For though I preach the gospel, listen, and Yahweh by Shem Yahushai led us to the right teachers, man. They has fed us with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding. It's really still feeding us, man. It's beautiful. For though I preach the gospel, meaning bring out this, this word, this good news, right? I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me. Yea, woe, which means destruction. Woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. If we don't hit the highway, the byways, if we don't do these sit down videos, the scriptures say, woe unto us, destruction unto us, man. For if, look, 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 for if I do this thing willingly, you got to do this thing willingly. Whether you're feeling good, whether you're sick, whether you got a toothache, you know, whether you're tired as hell, it don't matter, man. The Lord said, look, look, is he doing that thing willingly? Because he got the angels. The angels are watching too. The angels know who's murmuring, who's saying, man, I'm about tired of doing this, man. Uh, uh, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. The Lord ain't trying to hear that. I'm tired. You see? Then in the spirit that a man of the Lord gonna come in. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. No, man. You look, look, if you're tired, you pray for more strength, man. You see? 
It says, for if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. Now, everything's with balance, man. Don't forget, the Lord is all about balance, man. But the Lord knows who's really out there slacking too. The Lord knows, because all of us can do more, but the Lord knows who's out there that ain't really trying to do shit. You see? You see? Try, trying, to, trying to stay behind the scene um, so nobody won't notice. Them. The angels notice. The angels notice who ain't doing nothing. If I, if, I, if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. We going out preaching this word, doing these sit down videos week in and week out, daily edification, daily exhortation. Got that, you know what I'm saying, quote from Apostle Gabar's page. If we do this thing willingly, a reward, man. You see, but if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. You see, but what we, what we want to do, we want to do this thing willingly. And once again, no one's going to get a reward, you know what I'm saying, for what the next man do, right? Ain't that what the scriptures say? You're not going to get a reward for what the next man do. You look, you got you to gotta put in, get the reward for what you have done. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10, for the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work, your work. Yeah, how about Shemel Shai is not unrighteous to forget your work, man? And labor of love. You got to love to do this thing. You got to wake up wanting to do this will. Uh, yeah, how about Shemel Shai putting in this work, doing these videos, man? You see? Oh, yeah, because the scriptures tell us where your where your heart treasure is. That's where your heart would be, right? And, that, and that's Romans, right? The sixth chapter, right? No, that's Romans, um, the eighth chapter, right? Let's, let's see that. Let's just get that right quick, and I'm going to come right back. Let's get that Romans chapter eight. Is it? Let's see. Bear with me. Romans chapter 8. No, nah, nah, that, that ain't it. It's um St. Matthew. Yeah, St. Matthew chapter 6, right? Let's see. Or 7. Yes, yeah, St. Matthew chapter 6, verse 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart, meaning your mind, be also, man. A person can tell, you know what I'm saying, what you love because you put forth your energy into it, man. Like when you see people playing basketball, you see them at the basketball court each and every day, just dribble, 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 dribble. And look, a person that loves football, what are they doing? Throwing the football every time you turn around. Same thing with the pianos, a pianoist, you know? Same thing with a person that's, that's running track and field, you know? Same thing with a boxer. What are you doing? See him in the ring all the time, just punching that bag. Bam, 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 bam. Because that's, that's what they mind focused on, man. How much more in this ministry, man? Once again, St. Matthew 6 and uh, 21. For where, and this Lord Yahweh Shai speaker, who they even call Jesus, right? For where your treasure is, there will your heart, meaning your mind, be also, man. So the Lord already knows, man, who's in it to win it. The Lord knows who's putting forth their best effort, too, man. None of us can't fake it. Yeah, how about Shem Yahweh Shai already know who's putting their best foot forward, man? This is our last chance. Remember, we're, we're, um, we're, we're striving for perfection and we're training for kingship, man. You see? Let's go back. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. For the most high Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, man. We got to put in the work. Remember, faith without works is dead. It says, um, which he have showed towards his name, and we're coming in the name, the proper names in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh just like a rapper. What do you see him at all the time? He's in the booth, you know what I'm saying? He's got he had his pad, he got his pencil, he's just writing now um verses, writing now lyrics and all that. Why? Because he's trying to be the best rapper that he can be, man. He putting forth that effort, man. Anything that you do, a carpenter, a painter. You know, a plumber, the electrician. The, you, you see where we're going with this? You see? They put forth their best effort, man. That's how you become great, right? It says, what you have showed towards his name, in that ye minister, the word minister means to serve to the saints, the Israelites, and do minister. Listen to this, though. And we desire that every one of you show the same diligence. That Look, I, I got to play this little clip again. That's what the apostle was going into, man. Can't slap when it comes to doing the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. The Lord wants us to all put forth, show the same diligence, man. You look, we got our head apostles, you know what I'm saying? They going in every day, man. Getting it in, man. So we got examples on the face of the earth who, of who we need to follow, man. It's going to say, we desire, man. You see? We desire what? Let's read it again. This is a letter from the apostle Paul, too. 
Hebrews chapter 6, verse 11. And we desire that every one of you show the same diligence, man. You remember, uh, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Remember, you got to give diligence. You got to give diligence, diligence to make your, and I'm hyped right about now. You got to give your diligence and calling to make your election sure, man. We all got to do it, man. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end, man. You see, we got to keep pushing until the end. I want to play this clip right quick. Let's play it again. No agonizing death. Look, we're in that time with the fulfillment of all prophecies. You individuals out there that are playing games like this is a big game. You're going to die. You're working for the king of the universe. You don't slack when you're working for the king of the universe, you dumb fucks. Anyway, we tell them to say shallow one. And that should, that should have struck fear in all of us, man. You see? All of us, man. Let's read on, though. Let's read on though, Hebrews chapter 6, verse 12. That ye be not slothful, that you be not slothful, man. Meaning lazy, man. The Lord don't want us to be lazy. Put forth effort, man. That's what the Lord wants. And once again, you're not on fire each and every day. You know what I'm saying? Some days you are tired. But you got to shake that tiredness, man. Sometimes I be sleepy. But then the Lord like, yo, get that work done right quick. And I feel good after that, man. And I lay down feeling real good knowing that I put in work for your how about Shimmy I was shot. The God in the heavens and the earth, man. You see, they created me. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith. Remember, you got the faith, right? We got the faith, right? Let's show it then. Remember, faith without works is dead. Remember, faith without works is dead. Who through faith and patience inherit the promises all of us are suffering right about now. You got, you got men getting off their deathbed, putting in work, you know what I'm saying? Then, then a lot of guys, you know what I'm saying, it's healthy as hell. You got men coming straight out of the hospital, man, putting in work, and guys healthy as hell ain't doing shit. And, and, it, and it's sad, man. It's sad. But, but, but the Lord got something for it, though. The Lord got something. Look, look, the Lord said, give them warning. Apostle to Harden, no saying, just gave us another warning from Yahweh Bashim El Shah. Look, look, get the getting. You know what I'm saying? Don't lighten up, tighten up. That's what I got out of it. Don't lighten up, tighten up. Because the, the, the Lord's showing off looking. The Lord's showing off looking. Let's get that first Timothy. I got a couple more scriptures and I'm going to wrap it up, man. I got a couple more scriptures and I'm going to wrap it up, man. First Timothy. Chapter 4, verse 16. And it reads, Take heed unto thyself. And until the doctrine continue in them. For it, look, look, don't stop. Continue in them. Continue in the things that thou has been taught, right? And, and and have been assured of, you know? And 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 you know who you learned it from, right? It says, For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. So we gotta do what? We gotta preach this word. So the elect of the nation of Israel can hear, man. Remember, receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save thy soul. The, the Lord looking down like, yo, I'm, I'm saying, that, that's on any job, man. Any job that I'd have never been on, look, the, the owner of that building wants you working. We getting paid. We get, yeah, how about Shemel is paying us to do this job, right? Let's get it in then. The Lord, look, the Lord said, I need you to probably, matter of fact, let's, let's, get, let's get this right quick. Second Ezra, the 15th chapter, and I turn right to it, man. Second Ezra chapter 15 verse 1, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. All this stuff going on. You got destruction, you got earthquakes, you got death, you got war. You know what I'm saying? You got Maxine Waters, you know what I'm saying? You got the MOTB, you see? You got the, you got the ships out there, you know what I'm saying, um, on the west coast. You got oil spills, you know what I'm saying? You got animals dying everywhere, you know what I'm saying? You yeah, look, man, violence, the love of many, head waxing cold, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. It's a lot to talk about. It's so much stuff to talk, to talk about. I can't even think about it right about now, man. You see? 
Oh yeah, look, look, war in Israel, you know what I'm saying? Remember, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, man, and show my people their transgressions in the house of Israel, their sins. And then you go right back to this, uh, first Timothy, no, second Timothy, the first, the fourth chapter, verse two, it says, preach the word, be instant. Always be ready. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, correct, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine, man. You see, we got the word. Speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. The Lord, like yo, tell them what's gonna happen before it even happened. Look, look, uh, who, who was that? Was that the um Apostle Paul said, you no know what I'm saying? He he exhorted them daily, daily, man. And, and correct me if I'm wrong. Which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord, and call them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. And if you got faith in Yahweh by Shemel Shai, then you're going to bring these words out, right? It says, fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity, meaning unbelief of them, trouble thee, that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. You got plagues every damn west. a lot to talk about, man. The sword, it says plagues upon the world, man. The sword, which represents destruction, famine, death, and destruction. Look, so, so it ain't nothing to talk about, huh? It's a whole lot to talk about, man. And the Lord said, I want you to do this thing willingly, too. Let's get this, though. Let's get this, though. St. John 21. And we'll start at 15. So when they had dined, Yahweh shall say to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord. Thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Lord, how shall I say it unto the apostle Peter, right? Feed my lambs, right? He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. He said for unto him the third time. Look, here go the Lord repeating this stuff. But then when we bring out the same scriptures a couple of times, people got a problem with it. Well, here's the Lord. It's all about repetitiveness, man. The Lord is repeating himself. Lord, your is repeating himself, man. So we in the right spirit. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh shall I say unto him, feed my sheep, man. All right? And that's the spirit of the apostles coming in, man. Telling us to feed the sheep. Feed the sheep. It's time for the sheep to eat, man. Flood the internet, man. Flood the internet. Remember, this is the year of the hastening of the coming of our Lord. Yahweh shall I flood the internet, man. Let's flood it, brothers. Let's flood it. Let's get it in, man. You see? Let's get this. Well, look, look. Remember, regardless if they hear for bad, let's flood it, man. This is Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 1. I'm going to start at 4. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee to be a prophet unto the nation. So we ain't have to go to theological school to get the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scripture. We have been ordained through the spirit of Yahweh, but Shemiah Shah, and we have been taught by the prophets that he set up, right? It says, um, but the Lord, look, look, and then then said I, then said I, ah, Lord, Yahweh, but Shemiah Shah, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces. A whole lot of guys ain't hit the streets yet because they still scared. All hell breaking loose. The Lord's seconds away from coming, destroying this place along with two thirds. But I'm scared. I'm scared. It's just one of me in my city. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. What did the Lord say, man? Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee. Do, do you believe? Do you believe that Israel? Do you believe that? Do you believe the Lord is with you? To step out on faith, there. If you got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding the scripture, you know these breakdowns. To step out on faith, man. All right. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Remember, we work for the God of the universe. You see. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. 
And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant, man. So, so yeah, how about Shemel Shah ordained you a prophet? You, you got to put in this work, man. You got to, man. This, look, this is the least that we can do. And I got a couple more scriptures. And I'm about to wrap it up, man. I'm about to wrap it up, man. Them, word, them words right there alone, you know what I'm saying, just made me want to do something, man. These words should make you want to move, man. You see? Fear is a motivator, man. Fear should be motivating all of us to do something, man. Do, do, do something, you know what I'm saying? You, know, you better do something. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Let's see what else. Um, First Thessalonians chapter 5. And remember, in the book of James, you know what I'm saying, what is the first chapter? The Lord said, if you lack in anything, then pray for it, man. You see, pray for it. This is um First Thessalonians chapter five. Let's see. We started. We started um nineteen. Quench not the spirit, man. Don't quench the spirit. Let it come out, man. Don't quench the spirit. Look, despise not prophesying. Don't despise. It. Don't hate when it comes to pushing this word, man. The Lord said, go out there and prophesy. Prophesy to the wind if you got to. It don't matter if nobody don't listen. You did your job. Look, at the end of the day, make sure we're doing our job, man. Because the Lord ain't trying to hear that nonsense. You see? The Lord ain't trying to hear none of that nonsense from none of us, man. Give them one from me, right? Let's see what else I got, man. Because I'm about to wrap it up. I'm about to wrap it up, man. Let's get this. I do want, I'm going to end it off on this. And then I'm going to play that little clip one more time from the Apostle Tahar, man. You know, this is Revelation chapter 3, verse 15, and it reads, this red letter, Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, who they even call it Jesus, right? I know thy works, right? That thou art neither cold nor hot. I were thou were cold or hot. The Lord's like, yo, you either going to be cold as hell, like, like an ice box, or you're going to be on fire. You know what I'm saying? Like a furnace, man. Okay? Look, look, so then, because thou art lukewarm, lazy. Matter of fact, let's get that definition for lukewarm. Bear with me. I, I got to get that definition. Let's get the definition for lukewarm. Let's get lukewarm right quick. The Lord said, look, look, he, he'd rather you be cold or hot, man. Lord don't want us all lukewarm, looking all through. Bear with me. I'm about, I'm about to get it right now. I'm about to get it right now. I'm on, I'm on the phone. I'm about to get it right now. Look, look, look warm. Of liquid or food that should be hot, only moderately warm, tempered. You know? Let, let's see what else. Um, showing little enthusiasm, man. Really ain't in it. Really don't even want to do the work. Uh, yeah, how about Shemel Shai? Look, when you when you look warm, you really don't want to do it, man. Just stand around, just to be standing around so nobody won't know that you're a quitter. You know? Showing little enthusiasm, man. You see? Uninterested. When a, when a guy is lukewarm and you got to kick him in his ass for him to do a video, what did it say? He's uninterested. Really, man? He's unconcerned. You know, look laxy daisy, all hell breaking loose, missiles about to drop, concentration camps, people about to get thrown in and left and right, everybody about to lose their damn job, you know what I'm saying, everybody about to be homeless, oh yeah, you laxy daisy, right, comfortable, comfortable, man, what is it, emotionless, emotionless, passionless, you see, limp, limp, unresponsive, a dead person, really, unmoved, laid back, you see, could look, could have, could have cared less. You know what I'm saying? You see, that's that's what lukewarm went into. What did the Lord say again? So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Cause I know when I drink hot cocoa, no marshmallows, of course. I want it hot. You know what I'm saying? I don't want it cold. I don't want it lukewarm either. Cause I'm gonna spit it out like, Pah! you know. And that's what the Lord going to do to a whole lot of people, you know what I'm saying, in this ministry of ours, man. We, we got to do more too, man. We got to do more for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, right? We're not just doing this thing for ourselves, man. The Lord said, make thy calling and election sure. I'm going to play this clip one more time, then I'm going to end the video, man. You see? We work for the king of the unit. Look, look, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, right? 
Look, look, remember, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Let's play it one more time. Recognizing death. Look, we're in that time with the fulfillment of all prophecies. You individuals out there that are playing games like this is a big game, you're going to die. You're working for the king of the universe. You don't slack when you're working for the king of the universe, you dumb fucks. Anyway, we tell them to say shalom.